today our lecture topic is waste water treatment waste water treatment what is now i want to tell you what is the waste water waste water is a used water that is that water that has been contaminated to the pollutant or that is no longer beneficial to human uses or that cannot be used in the environment i by my sources of the waste water may be it comes from the domestic it comes from the agricultural sources or industrial or urban now the goals of the waste water treatment we we want to treat the waste water because to produce waste is waste water stream to produce a uh, solid waste means sludge to or to discharge or reuse back into the environment the main important goal of the waste water treatment is to manage the water discharge from the houses business industries to reduce the threat of the water pollution now waste water treatment processor what are the water treat, uh, processor waste water treatment can be divided into the three categories primary treatment secondary treatment and the uh, tertiary treatment secondary treatment also known as biological treatment different techniques biological treatment first we discuss the primary treatment the primary treatment of the waste water can be divided uh, again in two parts number one physical treatment and second is chemical treatment physical treatment further categorized into different categories like physical treatment in this treatment we separate the solid particles that cannot be dissolved into the water by different techniques number 1 sedimentation screen chamber third grid chamber or tank and skimming use of skimming tank if we if we see this diagram there as a incoming sludge from a sewer line that is separated into the screen, screen chamber where the larger particles are separated then the treated water passes to the grid chamber in this chamber sand and clay particles are separated then this separated materials went to the aeration tank where the oxygen is present in which the microorganisms use uh, their ability to uh, decompose other materials that is harmful to the waste or human after the treatment after the treatment in aeration tank that it is went it is uh, come into the sedimentation tank where the all the solid materials are settled down into the bottom of this chamber then come into the disinfection lastly we treat with the disinfection chamber here the chlorine or ozone treatment may be required after the treatment of this we discharge the treated water to the agriculture resources for the irrigation and other purposes other purposes and the rest of the material rest of the material that is went into the digester chamber and we prepare the sludge drying bag is this this material disposed in the landfill to use the improve the agriculture wastage now we uh, we discuss these physical treatment techniques sedimentation screen chamber grid one by one the first is the in primary treatment means in primary treatment solid suspension or salt flocating material is removed as i, I, I told you earlier if it is passes through a screen which is used to remove certain materials like wood or pieces plastics paper floating uh, debris etc the water is passes to the settling tank in which the water remain for a long time with suspended the in which the suspended particles are settled down in the process is known as sedimentation next uh, i told you the physical and chemical treatment first one is the screening chamber that is present is here in that screen chamber remove dead animals branches of the trees log of the woods 
and other floating material that is present initially in the uh, sludge that is come from the sewer lines. The effluent is passes through the bar screen for rag removal. And in this section, two automatic, automatic bar screen chambers remove large solids. Uh, the collected material is passed to the dumpster to be taken like, uh, later to the landfill. Next, grid chamber that is present next to the screening chamber. Grid includes the sand, ash, egg cells, etc., and having the diameter around 0.2 millimeter. Next, the effluent moves through the grid chamber. These things reduce the velocity of the effluent so that the particles settle down here. Grid chambers can be uh, three types. It may be a horizontal grid chambers, aerated, or vertical grid chambers. Next, skimming tank. Skimming tank uh, is not showing here, but skimming tanks are basically used to remove the fat, waxes, fatty acids, shock minerals, and vegetables oil present in the wastewater to collectively called oils. They normally known as the grease. As oil and grease are lighter than the water, they are normally separated by the natural flocculation. The bubbles of the air are, are passes on the bottom of the tank and floating matter rises and remains on the surface of the wastewater, which can be separated easily. Next, the last and most important topic uh, process is sedimentation. In this, sedimentation means settling down of the suspended particles at the bottom of the water called sedimentation. This process is also known as clarification, clarification of the solid materials or large materials. In this process, water is collected into the big tank for, a, for some time. Uh, there are slowly impurities are settled down by gravitation. Means the, the gravitational forces uh, process are, is used in sedimentation tanks. The main objective of sedimentation are the suspended and colloidal impurities are separated in sedimentation tanks by gravitation. It reduces the heavy sediment load before treating water to other purposes. Next, come to the chemical treatment. Second point of the primary treatment is physical. Next, the chemical treatment. Now, second point of primary treatment is chemical treatment. In this treatment, there are a lot of treatments include, number one is a coagulation. Second point is flocculation. And third point is filtration. Physical chemical treatment is normally used to prepare the wastewater for next treatment technique in many cases of the biological treatment. Coagulation. Now, first point is the coagulation. Coagulation is the sedimentation alone is not sufficient to remove the large particles or all the particles suspended in the wastewater. That's why we need to, put, to perform a coagulation process. The process of coagulation is used to remove the colloidal particles from water. Sedimentation alone is not sufficient to remove all the suspended particles. That's why coagulation process is need to remove the colloidal particles that is present in the wastewater. Coagulation is a process in which certain chemical agent is mixed in the water and then colloidal and suspended particles are separated. Next, the turbidity in water is mainly due to the presence of fine particles of the clay, silt and organic matter. Last, next topic is filtration. Filtration means is done. Filtration is done in order to remove the colloidal and suspended matter remaining after sedimentation and to remove the bacterial load. The process of the filtration usually consists of allowing the water pass through the thick layer of sand or porous material, which remain coarse impurities on its surface and pores. Secondary treatment. Secondary treatment is also known as the biological treatment. Or biological treatment. Basically, secondary treatment in which the microorganism used to oxidize or, or metabolize the organic matter that is present in the uh, wastewater treatment. It is a process Basically, microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, protozoans, 
or other the parasite that is present in the waste water that decompose the organic water and convert into the simpler form the main function of the secondary treatment is to convert the remaining organic matter uh, of sewage into a stable by oxidation and nitrification biological treatment may be uh, can be performed in two ways number one is aerobically or a second one is anaerobically in aer aerobic process we use aerobic bacteria or microorganism dead bacteria that use that perform their function in the presence of oxygen and in anaerob anaerobic process the microorganism and other bacteria uh, that perform their function in the presence of in the absence of oxygen basically aerobic process further classified into three process number one is activated sludge process that is a very important activated sludge process trickling filter and and the third one is oxidation pond first come to the activated sludge process activated sludge process is the most versatile biological oxidation process employed for the treatment of the wastewater it contain that wastewater contain uh, dissolved solids colloids coarse solids and organic matter sewage from the sedimentation tank passes enter in those aeration tanks where oxygen is present uh, for to perform the aerobic Uh, aerobic mechanism by the microorganism here 20 to 30% of active sludge is mixed the mixture is aerated and mixed in the tank for about 4 to 8 hours the microorganism oxidizes the organic matter in the presence of abundant quantity of oxygen in the aeration tank sewage is allowed to settle down at the bottom uh, of the secondary tank Next, the trickling filter in this process Uh, after the primary treatment the effluent is passes through the filter medium which consists of bed of stone in which the microorganism that is bacteria or fungi are present to oxidize uh, to convert the, the waste water material into toxic uh, from toxic to less toxic form bacteria get nutrient from that and bacteria attack on the carbohydrate lipid fat protein present in, uh, on that waste and that is essential for the growth of the microorganism next oxidation pond it is also known as lagoon and it is a new biological method that has been introduced now a days for waste water treatment the oxygen pond is shallow pond uh, where waste water is purified by action of algae and aerobic bacteria tertiary treatment now come to the tertiary treatment Uh, in the process of wastewater treatment tertiary treatment is the last treatment and it is an advanced treatment the main function of the tertiary treatment is to decrease the load of nitrogen and phosphorus compound that is present in the wastewater uh, by to perform the wastewater treatment uh, tertiary treatment there also a technique included in this tertiary treatment number 1 precipitation second one is the nitrogen stripping and and third one is chlorination in the process of the precipitation the effluent received after the secondary treatment which is mixed with the calcium dioxide sorry calcium oxide the lime then react with the phosphorus compound that is present in the waste water uh, to form the insoluble calcium phosphate which then settle down bottom of the settling tank nitrogen stripping second point when the nitrogen present in the waste water is generally in the form of ammonia gas nitrite nitrate the ammonia is highly undesirable in stream and, and lakes because it is extremely lethal to the aquatic flora or biota the nitrogen equal uh, eventually advanced eutrophifications and in order to remove the nitrogen air uh, is forced through the effluent where thereby result in the removal of ammonia gas next last one is the chlorination chlorination it is a process in which chlorine is used to kill the uh, microorganism the main purpose of chlorination is 
to assess the formation of the flock in the process of coagulation together with other chemical to prevent the corrosions of seizures and to prevent the spread of epidemic. Uh, in the continuation of the wastewater treatment, uh, or the, there are other techniques that is use of the ultraviolet light or ozone also required for the treatment of the wastewater. Ultraviolet light, as we know, it can damage the genetics of the bacteria uh, or, a, or viruses and other pathogens. The wavelength of the ultraviolet is 254 nanometers. An advantage of the use of ultraviolet light is that, that, is that no chemical is used in this process and wastewater are more natural. Uh, that is uh, uh, used. We, and disadvantage, disadvantages of ultraviolet light is that, that high maintenance of the ultraviolet light is required. Last, in the treatment process of the wastewater, the next chemical is ozone. Ozone is too unstable to, uh, to store and has to be made at is used. It is produced by passing the electric discharge through the air, which is then bubbled through the water. Ozone is consumed very rapidly uh, and leaves no residual. It may also produce some chemical byproduct, but probably not as harmful as produced by the chlorine. Thank you.